What's up guys, welcome to the experimental tube, the place where we make and break stuff. So recently I updated the Z-axis with some new spindle uh, couplers and I cut down the spindles themselves to be at the right length. So new 3D printed couplers and the spindle cut to the right length. Today it's time to continue with the y-axis, so I will continue with the y-axis now. To be able to mount the y-axis uh, adapters, I need to remove uh, these connectors that hold the aluminum uh, parts together on the front side and on the back side as well. And then I will place another one in a different way. So this is the front connector that I will be using. Um, 12 millimeter steel will go in there. Uh, aluminium extrusion will be up here and also on the bottom side. And for the front side, so this will be mounted like this for the front right side. This one will go in there and will hold the aluminium extrusion as well. So we've got a lot of extra support due to this uh, setup and hope it will be nice and strong. Forget to put the bearings on, otherwise, it will be difficult afterwards. As you can see, guys, this looks really nice, nice and sturdy. Extremely stable. Hold one nice and clean for the cable. It will come out, blow there, and I will pick it up over there. Okay guys, that's it for this time. Uh, next time we will do the X carriage and uh, have fun with that. So, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.